Frugal Sim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and this is the Frugal Sim news for today, Sunday the 11th of November. First up, explain news with the release of the Flight Factor and Step to Sky Boeing 767 Professional Extended. The video you're watching is from my good friend Thomas Rasmussen, it is linked in the show notes below. Do give the guy a few hundred likes and subscribes as always. Now the new Flight Factor and Step to Sky Boeing 767 Extended or Professional Extended adds the 767-200ER, the 300ER, and the 300F, all of them simulating the Pratt & Whitney GE and Rolls-Royce engine options available in each of those aircraft in the real world. The developers call this the most in-depth airliner for X-Plane, period. It is a total study sim, which pretty much means every single system in the 767 is simulated, but is also hugely accessible thanks to the quick start mode, interactive checklists and something called an auto helper. The auto helper takes the appropriate actions for you to set checklist items to done. Now aside from simulating all the systems in the aircraft, it also features a fully accurate flight model validated by actual pilots and notable features include a fully functional FMS and EFIS, huge custom failure system, working ground and weather radar, and incredible visuals inside and out backed up by literally hundreds of custom recorded sounds from the actual aircraft. Flight Factor and Step to Skies Boeing 767 Professional Extended ships with 10 liveries, but there are over 100 available online. Now the price is $92, which seems steep, but it's not. That also gets you the 767 Professional Base Package if you don't already own it. There is an upgrade option if you do have that base package. Despite the publicly viewable price of $92 on the upgrade page, the upgrade will cost you just $20. You will need to email the xplane.org store and let them know that you have the original. They'll check into that, of course, and then provide you with a discount code that you can use during checkout. For more information, check out the xplane.org store link in the show notes below. Over now to the world of Prepared and FSX and the release of Latin VFR's Santiago. Latin VFR's latest scenery release covers, wait for it, Comodoro Arturo Marino Benitez International Airport in Santiago, Chile. This is actually Chile's main airport, in fact, and it's one of the most important in all of South America. Now, technically, Latin VFR Santiago is version 2, as Latin VFR did release the same scenery some years ago, but this is a complete rebuild to take full advantage of all the new API features in prepared version 4. Even so, if you already own the original, Latin VFR has said that you can get this new version completely for free. The package features highly detailed buildings, including the new terminal currently under construction, sewed animated jetways, a working windsock, working runway lights that turn on and off based on time of day and current weather conditions, photo scenery for the surrounding area and mountains, and a highly detailed terrain mesh as well to make approaches into this tricky airport as realistic and challenging as possible. Latin VFR Santiago is available from Sim Market right now for 22 euros for prepared version four only. Next up, UK 2000's Belfast Extreme version two. UK 2000 have overhauled and released version 2 of their Belfast Extreme Airport, covering Northern Ireland's busiest international airport. Incidentally, the airport is also home to RAF Aldergrove on the southern side of the airfield. UK 2000's Belfast Extreme version 2 adds prepared version 4 compatibility, of course, features improved runway lights, presumably also taking into account the new lighting features in prepared version 4, highly detailed buildings, runway and apron markings, animated wigwag lights on runway approaches, static and accurate aircraft, and has been optimized for performance. The price is £16.99. It will cover both FSX and prepared. More information at the UK2000.com link in the show notes below. Next up, Aerosoft's Cologne Bon Professional. Video you're watching is the official trailer for Aerosoft, produced by Jerome Dorman. That too is linked in the show notes below. The latest professional series airport, meaning it's for prepared version 4 only, from Aerosoft is Cologne and Bonn in Germany. It covers 100 square kilometers of photo scenery, features seasonal textures, animated vehicles, passengers, windsocks, jetways and doors with sewed, and completely accurate ground markings and buildings. It also has realistic night effects as well as dynamic lighting changes based on the time of day and weather, a feature that we're seeing more of actually in a lot more sceneries from other developers as well. It also features accurate static aircraft on the ground, realistic rain effects, and even has animated passengers inside the terminal. Now, if all that sounds like a lot, and in some cases it sounds like stuff you don't need, i.e. 
animated passages inside the terminal, then you'll be pleased to know that the airport ships with a comprehensive config tool to let you turn features on or off and customize performance to your machine. It is available right now for prepared version 4 only. Check out the aerosoft.com link in the show notes below. It will cost you 23 euros and 49 cents. Next up, Imagine Sims Singapore. Now, Imagine Sims Singapore has been two years in development. It is prepared version 4 only, noticing a trend here. It features 2K textures with the option to switch down to 1K for performance. It also features animated switchable dynamic lighting, sewed animated jetways, custom and accurate local trees, plants and vegetation, and 52 square kilometers of the surrounding area scenery, including Singapore Light from Imagine Sim, which recreates the entire city of Singapore itself. It has been optimized for performance, and Imagine Sim do have a product coming out soon called Airport Animator, which I'm guessing, I haven't looked into it, is very much like GSX. This scenery is already set up to use that product on release. The price for Imagine Sims Singapore is £25.95. More information at the imaginesim.net link in the show notes below. Finally, Navigraph are doing a survey. Navigraph are conducting the Flight Sim Community Survey, which is the third of its kind in order to measure Simmer's preferences and habits in order to help developers better serve the community. This is actually a pretty valuable thing, so please follow the link in the show notes below and take a few minutes to answer the questions. Now, as I said, that's the last story. There is no new show next week. Now, as many of you know, I recently went through an extremely rough spot, uh, losing the majority of my income. Tomorrow, I start a new job, but it does require me to work away from home for two weeks to get up to speed on things. So no new show next week. I'm afraid I am scheduling videos this week. And if I can get enough recorded today, then hopefully the week after as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this on a Sunday. I really do appreciate it. My name is Frugal. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon.